Hey there, everybody. So I'm back to show you a couple different ways to make ice cream cones because I totally forgot to do that on my other videos. And one of them is going to be really helpful with some of the PT gross motor stuff that Miss Mel put on there for this week. So we're going to go ahead and show you three different ways to make ice cream cones compared to the one I made earlier. Um, number one is going to use a paper plate. You probably will want a stapler or tape for this one. It's going to be hard with the glue but you're just gonna kind of bring the edges in like this. So it's kind of like a cylinder type cone, okay? And I'm just gonna go ahead and staple mine right now. Um, another thing, a good exercise you can do, activity you can do with your cone is you can color it. All different colors works on your fine motor. As you noticed in the plan for this week, one activity was to either have the ice cream or a bowl, if you wanna use a bowl on one side, and some ice cream on the other side. Now I happen to have pom-poms right here, so I'm gonna use that, but you can roll up socks, you can roll up pieces of paper, you can put any object really in your ice cream that you want. But you would have your students, so on one side, sorry, something on my lip. One side have your ice cream, other side have your cone. You can either hold the ice cream one at a time for your kiddo, have them reach for it with the smaller stuff, practice using your pincer grass, and then bringing it over here and putting it in. It's kind of hard to show you. I don't have any help right now. The girls are busy, but just, you know, reaching, bringing your arm over and dropping in. Again, you can do with anything that will fit or not fit. So as you'll see, the language activity says, you can ask them, is it too big? And they could tell you yes or no. Does it fit? Yes or no. So lots of different ways. So that's one way to make, another way, excuse me, to make an ice cream cone. The next one, you could also use a paper towel holder or toilet paper holder and you could just cut some ice cream out however you want. Looks like we're going to have cherry ice cream. Again, you can this might glue on a little easier, but you can glue, tape, staple whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and tape it for this purpose. This is kind of a different looking ice cream cone, but I'll taste the same, right? So I just have my ice cream on top. Again, I'm reaching for an object on my left side, putting it in my ice cream cone on my right. So you can reach, grab pincer grass, put in, working on in, working on turning. You can do this standing up. You can do it with your kiddo squatting if that's where they are. You could even you could even give them an ice cream cone, walk over to you in their gate trainer or kid walk and put it in and walk back and get more ice cream. You can do it that way. There was a relay on there for that. So you, there are lots of different ways you can do it, but you can use that as an ice cream. And then last but not least, you can just use a piece of paper. If you don't have the other things laying around, fold it like this to make a triangle. Doesn't quite reach the other corner, but looks like this. And then I'm gonna cut across here. Another thing the kiddos could do with their practicing their cutting skills. You can even actually have them help you fold. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. And it's kind of like the paper plate. Ooh. Struggling here. You can fold it in. So it's like that. Go ahead and staple it. My ice cream cone has a hole in the bottom, so if you want to cover it or tape it up more, you can. There we go. Or it's okay if things fall out of it. So same kind of idea. If I wanted to, I could cut off, cut off another ice cream topping. So I can have, I like my ice cream dipped in cherry, so this looks good. Although my cutting skills right now are not very, <laughs> very good. Oh well. You put it on around here so it looks more like an ice cream or you could put it up here whatever way front back doesn't matter it all tastes the same I'm just gonna paint mine on here glue would work good on this These paper plates don't don't allow you to glue things very easily in my opinion so so here's my ice cream looks good again taking my stuff I could take my paper and crumple it up. 
kids absolutely love to crumple up paper, which another activity would be great is for them to rip up the paper to make the balls. Just have them rip little pieces and crumple it. Just watch the mouth. You guys all know that. You're their parents. So I could take it over here, ice cream or bowl over here, and put in. And we can even count. One, two, and three. Voila! So there are some more activities for you. I hope you like those ones and find them useful and uh, working on a lot of those good skills that everybody's working on. So we'll see you later. Take care.